Good morning, everyone. This is February the 14th, 2022, 10 a.m. It is eight degrees Celsius, minus, sorry, minus eight, minus eight Celsius, which is about minus, uh, I don't know what it is, it's with the wind chill, it's minus 11. Not sure about the other scale. Okay. Here we are, it is a special day of the year. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to everybody. Okay, we got that out of the way. Now, it is a snow day. It's not as bad as that last one. Thankful for that, because the wind's not blowing like it was that day. And temperature-wise, it's not too bad. So, I think we'll have a good walk in the snow today. I'm heading to the north end, but I'm taking a different route. Anybody knows this area right here might recognize it. I'm on the, I guess you'd call it the back end of Scotia Square. <clears throat> the opposite side from Bear Engine Street. If you go all the way across them, the, the mall, I'm on the back end. Okay. When I get down here at the corner, I'll tell you what this street is called. I just slip my mind for the moment and I don't walk it every day. And I know what it is, but it slipped my mind. So I'll, when I get to the street sign, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. So did you have a good weekend? Everybody enjoyed the weekend? It wasn't bad. It was a chance to do some work around the house, stuff like that. And we went out on, on Saturday night to celebrate Valentine's Day because my wife has to work today, so today's not a good day to celebrate it. So I guess a lot of people probably did that. They celebrated on the weekend. And I got to go somewhere so I've been planning on going for a long time and talking about it and said one day I'm going to go there and I finally, finally did that on, on Saturday. <clears throat> My wife and I, we went to the Blue Nose restaurant downtown, specializes in fish, fish and seafood. So it was... Quite an experience, I'll tell you. I never had my plate loaded so full. I couldn't even eat half of it, but it was good. It was good, but it was just piled too high. Um, I don't have that kind of appetite. I would have had to bring two more people with me just to eat food off my plate. You can't say they're stingy with the food. They, they put too much on there. But it was good. It was a good experience. Get across here before I get bent over on the slippery road. Ah, there. All right, I was going to take you in the street, but I don't see any street signs. So it's all right. First street up. First street up from Brunswick, I guess. Oh, you Barrington. First, first street up from Barrington. There we go. And. On the left, it goes right behind the Scotia Square. All right. I see that new building coming along pretty good. Speaking of Brunswick, I may walk down a little ways down new, down Brunswick Street, which is right here. Might do that for a change of scenery today instead of going down Cottage Inn or same old street as we go. Gotta to, got to shake it up a little bit. So that's what we'll do. We'll walk down one foot street. Not all the way, but part way, and then we'll see. We'll see what we do after that. You can see there's quite a bit of uh, snow in the air. You can't see a long ways. 
you're looking, looking down Brunswick, you can see your visibility runs out there in about a, about a half a kilometer maybe. It is slippery today, so cars, they need to be careful because it's, it is slippery. So I hope you had a good Valentine's Day with whoever you celebrated it with and had a lot of fun. I know we did, we had a really good, I said Valentine's weekend. Not just Valentine's Day, but a Valentine's weekend. And we celebrated it really well, so I, it was good. I look forward to that for a little bit before it came. And now it's gone. Now we can look forward to spring and Easter. If you, if you celebrate Easter, we'll be looking forward to Not everybody does. I can't just assume that everybody celebrates everything. There's people don't like Valentine's Day. There's people don't like Christmas. There's people don't like Halloween, whatever. So if you celebrate Easter, then that'll be coming up before too long. And, and after that, it should be warm weather. We're hoping. I should have brought my umbrella to keep everything dry out of the snow, but I'm taking a chance it'll be all right. Because the snow isn't rain exactly, it's a little bit drier. You like my logic? Okay, good, I thought you would. So, we will make our way on up, uh, on up Brunswick Street for a ways. Then I may go up to Cottage and we'll see. Anyway, we're making our way to the north end, and my wife is on her second week as an owner-operator, so she's enjoying her, it's the same job, it's the same thing, except she bought the truck she was driving, and, and uh, now she owns it. Well, her and the bank, I guess, but one day it'll be hers. So anyway, she's at work today, but she got a small day because of the snow. I think they're getting done early. So I may I may see her in the north end. I may not. I might, because it's early yet. There's a good chance I'll run into her somewhere along the way. She covered all these streets, Brunswick, Cottage, and Maynard Street and Creighton and everything up that way so and all all the way up to I guess Windsor and Oxford up that way. Well I'm bundled up well I got my hood right up in my hat, my gloves and my boots. It's not a day for sneakers today. This is a Hello this is a this is a day for boots for sure today. Not a day for not a day for sneakers or shoes. Well, I hope you enjoy walking in the snow. This isn't that bad. I can walk right along here. I'm not really uh, wading in snow too deep. So that's pretty good. The wind isn't blowing too much. Depends on where you are. I felt it worse in other spots, but I guess I'm shielded a little bit from the wind right here. We gotta zigzag around some streets here because we don't wanna bore you to death with the same old stuff all the time. I know we did walk up Brunswick before, so we'll yeah, we'll take us uh, we'll cut up over the hill at this street right here. When I get there I'll tell you what it is. We're on Brunswick now, heading in a north direction. When I get to this intersection, I'll tell you what it is. I mean, there's no way I can memorize all these intersections in Halifax, I try, but 
I'm not 100% sure of it. This is Cornwallis. There we go. This is Cornwallis Street. This is the one they're talking about renaming. Now, what do you think of my idea? I said Harbor View. Because look, they're pointing right down to the harbor. So I think Harbor View is an excellent name for Cornwallis. But I didn't submit it. I didn't, I don't know, I was too busy to look up where, where to do it, so I didn't do it. But anyway, if I was going to submit one, it would be Harbor View. But we'll see if anybody comes up with that. We will see if they, anyone thought of my idea. They are going to name it. They're trying to get rid of any memories of Cornwallis. I didn't know anything about him before, but apparently he was a, not a nice person. And he did things to hurt the natives. And I don't know what all he did. I'm not an expert on history. Don't pretend to be. And if they hadn't said anything about it, I would never have known. As, as a, probably a lot of people are with me on that because we're just not up on all our history. And, yeah, anyway, that's how it goes. Too occupied with other stuff to dig into my history all the time. I studied history in school, but after getting out of school, history just kind of went the way of mathematics and especially geometry. Who uses that? Right? Is there anybody out there gets a compass out and a protractor and measures things? Not too many. Might be a few if you're a draftsman or something. For the most of us, no, we don't use that stuff. Once we're out of school, it's forgotten. The car coming here, I guess I'll, he's going to wait for me. All right, we do have a nice snowy day today. Do you like snow days? If you like snow days, you will enjoy this video today because this is a snowy day. I like snow. I like it when it's gone too, but for, it is still winter, so I like snow. I like walking in the snow. And as long as I'm dressed for it, I like it. Don't like it if I don't have enough on and I'm cold, but I'm dressed today. I'm dressed for the elements. I got my my tall boots on, my long johns, my jeans. I got a sweater with a hood and my jacket's got a hood. And I got both of my hoods up and a hat under the hood. So, and my gloves. So I think I'm okay for this weather today. I think we'll be all right. There goes the plow and the salt guy for the sidewalks. All right, we're on Gottage now. So I guess we'll walk down Gottage for a way. I got a green light, so keep going. We'll go down Gottage for a ways and see what we can do this way. I should be out of that snow a little bit now because it's kind of coming right across that way. But it might help. Okay. Walking. Let's me see. We're walking northward on Gottingen. There we go. Hard to keep my direction straight, but I think I have it. Walking north on Gottingen. Okay. Thankful there's not a lot of wind out here. That's good. an idea where I'm going, but it's going to be a little bit of a surprise in my route. I'm going to take a street I've never taken before. I'm not there yet, but I will be before too long. So, visibility is not all that good, is it? 
That church down there is on Brunswick. That's where we was on that street. It's not that far away. We can't see much past that. Um, we're supposed to get somewhere between 10 and 12, 13 centimeters today. It's enough to make the roads pretty greasy. Anyways, then, so my wife texted me after she went to work. They got a small day because of the snow. So I think she's gonna be coming home around noon or something. So hopefully I run into her up here somewhere. But if not, we'll be we'll be talking anyways. And, I don't think I'll walk back, it's quite a long walk, and it's snowing, so I think I'll probably walk to the north end, maybe end up at Young and Milby, and when I leave, I'll get the bus back down to the Scotia Square, and then I can either take the, I can either take a bus from there, or I can take the ferry across and either walk home, or take a bus from the ferry terminal. Depends, depends if I got enough walking in yet today. Okay, I'm gonna get across the street before this car takes off here. There we go. Okay. For anyone that hasn't seen Cottage Street lately, I'm gonna show you all the new buildings up here now. They start down there. And look at this. This is all brand new. All the stores in the bottom aren't all open yet. And all the apartment units are all brand new. One, two, three, four stories of apartments and shops in the bottom. And the whole building's all brand new. Isn't that great? That takes in about a, almost a block, maybe a block, close to a block. So, if you haven't been in Halifax for a while, haven't been on Gottingen, just before the, let me see, it's right across from the library. The library's right there. 2285 Gottingen is the library. And it's right, it's right across from, from the library, this new building. Some of it was here before, but not that long. It's still part of the new building. Fortune Donuts. I did a video of it in there one day. I told him I heard that was the best donuts in Halifax. One know if it was true. The guy was quite flattered because I said that. And I said I was going to put it to the test. They were good. They were they're almost a meal. I, I had to break it in half and save half for later. That's how big and heavy those donuts were. You don't get any donuts like you like you get in Fortune Donuts. They're heavy, big, and really good. You don't get them at Tim Hortons or or, or uh, Country Style or whatever you got. I don't even think you can get them at uh, Starbucks. They don't have anything quite like that. So. Oh, I got a little bare sidewalk right here. Look at that. It's the only little spot. I don't know how it stayed bare. The wind must be blowing right here a little bit more. I can feel it right here, too. The buildings are protecting me when I'm on. Once I get past these buildings, I'll be out of the wind again. It's coming right from my right. Oh, here comes the mailman. All right. Yeah, this is a pretty good snowy day. If you like snowy videos, then this is your video. Yeah, I promise there's nothing as bad as that. Horrible day I was out there, and the wind was blowing so bad. It's not even close to that. This is just a regular old snowstorm. 10 to 12 
centimeters falling. Enough to make a good mess, but not enough to hurt things too much. It's still minus eight. Temperature hasn't come up a bit. Still minus eight. Wind chill of minus 12. Which is not a whole lot, but it's still enough to make it a little bit colder. Well, we'll continue on, because I hope the cold don't kill my battery before I get done the video. Last time my battery got cold, but it was a warm day out and I stopped and I took my I took my other phone and put it on the gimbal and finished my video. Today it's colder. I don't feel like getting my bare hands exposed to the elements today. So if my battery goes dead, I'm just it'll give me a little bit of warning. And I'll just sign off and It'll be, it is what it is, if, it, if that should happen, okay? Let you know now, then if I have to cut it short, I'll just say, my battery's almost dead. I'm saying enough. But hopefully that, that we get by without that today. It was fully charged when I left home. But the phone is old now. The last, the last few months that I had it, before I got my new phone, I had a hard time keeping it keeping it charged just in the run of a day like if I went in somewhere and listened to music on my phone and things like that my my phone would be dead before I got home so I got a new one for that purpose and took the old one for videos but that's not working out real well because the battery don't hold up good in the cold it's already on a warm day It'll give me the full, full thing, but on the, on the cold days, the cold takes a lot of the power of the battery. Well, I sit better walking right here because it's plowed a little better, smooth. It is a little slippery, you gotta be careful. Don't want to take a flip here, especially carrying this equipment. It could get smashed. So, gotta be careful, but... And that's good advice to everybody. Anybody out walking in the winter time on the sidewalks, the streets, if they're covered in snow, keep your mind on it and stay focused. Because your feet can go out from under you and you could hit your head, which is a very bad thing. I just slipped right there, but I caught myself. So I'm gonna keep my own advice here. Watch my step. It is slippery, so. I'm just gonna check, make sure nobody's behind me now. Looking down the street, no one behind me. That's great. Because when I'm walking and I got double, double hoods up over my head here too. I got a hood on my sweater and a hood on my jacket. And they kind of make it hard to hear if anybody's right behind me. So sometimes I'm blocking the, the sidewalk and somebody's trying to get by me. And they don't want to say, excuse me, can I get by? Sometimes they do. And then I, I move, of course, but I don't want to get in people's way needlessly. If I can help it. If I do it, it wasn't intentional, for sure. Because I would never do that intentionally. Because I'm a polite person. I always say, excuse me. If I do something, I say sorry, I, whatever. So I try not to, try not to inconvenience people in any way if I can help it. I'm just past a, 
You know that village, what's left of it? Most of it's back that way. Are they, there might be some up this way. I don't think so though, because I'm almost to North Street now. There's a street coming off of North Street that I always wanted to walk down. It's a real narrow street. And I thought it looked really cool to walk down and, and do part of my video. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a one-way street, but since I'm walking, I can go the other way. And I think it's up that way. It might be the first street up that way, I think. Because there wouldn't be anything down this way. Because the bridges, that just goes down to the bridge. I don't think there's any street down there that I was looking at, so I think it's up the other way. So first we'll get across the street, and then we'll go explore that street. There's the Northwood Seniors Home, extended care, and I gotta say they've done a fantastic job this round of the virus. When, it first, when the virus first came, there were so many people there that were sick, and some people died. But this time around, they did a fantastic job looking out for everybody. Okay, when I get a chance, I'll walk through here. Whoa, somebody just got hit. Whoa, we got hit. Somebody couldn't get stopped. I witnessed it on my phone, but I won't let him see it if I can help it. He might hold me up and want to want it for evidence. But the other guy's staying sticking around. So Okay. I gotta go across the street now. Because I think my streets are just up here. He didn't realize the light was stopping. I think the guy in the truck let him go because he got a big bumper and a trailer hitch on the back. And he probably just looked at it and said, there's nothing. He let him go, yeah. Too bad for the guy with the car because those plastic bumpers don't hold up too good. If the guy behind him would have ran, I would have went up to the guy and gave him my phone number and told him I have uh, evidence on my video but he didn't run he went up to see what, what could be done there and I think the guy gave him a break to let him go yeah. but if you run you're in trouble if I see you and you run I'm going to help the guy out to get hit and especially if it was a pedestrian if, if a pedestrian gets hit and you run and I'm anywhere around that intersection, you're going to get caught. Okay? That's the kind of guy I am. camera's still going yet, that's good. I can see that little thing on my screen real good today, because the ground's all white and it shows good. It's when it's, the ground's dark and it's, I have a hard time seeing it. All right, I'm not gonna take this street, because this street was, it is a one-way street, but it's wide. This is Northwood Terrace. I'm not gonna walk up that one. I think it's the next one. I saw it and I thought, what a nice street to walk on because it's really narrow and it'll give you something different to, to look at. And well, I'll tell you what the name of it is when I get there. All I know is it's a one way street. Might be the street I'm coming up to. Perhaps, but maybe not, we'll see. But 
Well, this is a great day for a video because I love walking in the snow making videos. As you folks know, I do because I walk in snow and I enjoy myself. And I like those rain videos too. Don't want to do them every week, but I do enjoy them. Oh, I think, I don't know, I thought maybe that was my wife's truck up there, but maybe not. It could be. Can't see the back of it yet. No, I don't, I don't think it is, but it might be. We'll walk over a little bit and see if it's her truck or not. I can't tell from here. Might be. This is her area. But no, no, it's not her. It's a parts, parts truck. Patty's, Patty's, Patty's kitchen and bathroom design. Okay, now, is a truck similar to what my wife drives, but it's not it. All right, this street is not the one I was going to take, but we'll walk up a block and come back down. But I should get in on the sidewalk because I don't want to get hit by a sliding car. That wouldn't be fun. I have enough screws in my knee now. I have, I, have, uh, I think it's... I think it's four. I got two in once and two in again. There's four, four screws in my knee. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I'm a dog lover. They, they, they're drawn to me. I think they can tell I like dogs because they like to come right up to me. Getting a little more wind right here again. And you can see I'm, I'm walking into a pretty good snowstorm here with a little more wind right here. But I'm going to have it at my back in a minute. I'm going to make a left up here. I'm looking for that narrow street that I wanted to walk on. I'm not there yet. It must be one more street. Possibly. Okay, folks, I, I did what I said I wasn't going to do. My battery ran dead in the cold, and I stopped, and I took my other phone, which, this is the one that doesn't have the microphone, but it's, it actually sounds better than the other one with the microphone. I'm a little bit rough here at the moment because I'm putting my gloves back on. So just bear with me, I'm almost done. Okay, we're on our way. So, a little, a little interruption there, but not too serious. There, okay. Everything's all focused and back, back on track. It took me about, I don't know, three minutes to perform this operation. Now I'm back. Oops, I forgot to zip my coat up. The snow is coming in. All right, there it is. Last, last interruption. All right. I got to tell you what street I'm on when I get up here, because I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what street this is. I never did get that little narrow street I was talking about. I may yet. I may. I may find it. We'll see, hopefully. If I don't, well, another day. But I wanted to do my video on that street, but we'll see how this all goes. Okay, we're going up the snowy sidewalk. There's a lot of snow on this sidewalk. I don't think they've been over it yet with the Plow. Takes a while to get all these streets done. Um, so we are definitely in the north end of Halifax. I'm on Bell Air, Bell Air Street. There I am. And that's the street I was going to walk up 
We'll walk down it now, okay? Okay, now I gotta get over on the sidewalk, even if it is snowy because cars have to get down to here. There we go, okay, I'm on the sidewalk now. Of Bel Air Street. This is a smaller, narrow street, but I thought it looked pretty cool, a snowstorm, to walk down it. So, here we go, we're gonna walk back to North Street on Bel Air. And then we'll decide where we go. I think I'm gonna walk up to spend some time at Tim Hortons on Yamanobi. I don't know if you wanna see me walk there or not. I've done it several times, we'll see. As we walk, we'll decide. How's that? I never plan too far ahead because anything can happen that might not work out, so. I don't wonder there's a lot of snow on the sidewalk. Look at this. And my phone's out in the elements, but I guess it won't hurt it. A little bit of snow. It's not going to hurt it too much. I'm not sure where that truck's going. So I'm going to get out of the way. He's going to pile that driveway, I guess. But the driveways are tight and narrow here because it's a one-way street and only one lane. Well, I got a little bit of a break right here. The, the neighbors have shoveled their, their front of their houses. And some of the buildings are pretty clean on the sidewalk and others not so clean. The ones that are shoveled, it's easy walking. Glad I had the, the foresight to put my high top boots on. Because they're about a foot, I guess. They stand quite a bit of snow. And you could probably even go over them and they, you wouldn't get your feet wet because you could tie them up tight around the leg and then it's, uh, I don't think the snow went anyway. So, here we are, making our way back down. Now we've got lots of battery, because this phone, the battery won't go dead in the cold. That other phone, whenever it's cold, I'm lucky if I can get 40 minutes out of it. And if it was a warm summer day, I'd get a couple hours out of it. But this, this one here is good. This one here, the battery's good in it. And it won't go dead. And when I get where I'm going to have coffee, I got a battery charger in my backpack. I used to try to plug them in places, but that's kind of hit and miss. So if you have a good battery charger, you can just, you're never stuck. My, my battery charger will charge my phone up about three times. So it's a, it's a good charger, good battery. So I don't worry about places to plug my phone in. Got my battery with me and when I sit down for coffee, I got my cord I take out and plug in my battery and into my phone, get everything all charged up again. The gimbal is great. That, in case you don't know what a gimbal is, it's, uh, it's the handle that holds the phone, keeps it from bouncing all over the place while you're walking. If I didn't have that gimbal, I wouldn't be able to hold the camera steady enough to, to walk around and make a video because every take, every step I took, it would go like this. So the, the, it does a little, but the gimbal really levels it out. And where I noticed it was at its best, if I was doing a video in the car and we were driving, I hold that up there and we hit bumps after bumps. And then when I look at the video, it's just as smooth. So it, it, it does a good job. And that, the battery won't go dead in that. I think it's good for four or five hours before it goes dead. Most days when I take it home, like there's, four, there's three white lights and then a green one. The green one, the green one's on, it's fully charged. There's three white ones. And usually when I get home 
from a from a day out doing videos i still got two white lights left and i just one white one's out and the green one's out the, the rest of it is on so i got quite a bit of power left when, when i go home well we're at roby we might as well uh no sorry didn't think this looked like we're at agricola we'll walk up agricola a little ways and then i'll see what way we want to go because i gotta go to tim horton's hang out there for a while have a coffee put my gear all away dig out my headphones and listen to some tunes on youtube and then I'll get, I can catch a bus right in front of, right in front of uh, Tim Hortons on Roby. It'll take me right downtown. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna walk, take the bus across to Dartmouth or I'm gonna take the ferry, we'll see. I'd like to mix it up. I'm in no hurry today. I just gotta, I gotta get home in time to get supper organized tonight. But I think my wife's getting off at noon anyway, so that won't be, that won't be an issue today. So anybody used to walking in Agricola, you know where we are when you see the uh, EHS station. You know where that is on Agricola. The Army Navy surplus store, that's the store. It's been there a long time. You know where we are. On this side, the numbers is 26, 41, 43. So give you an idea where we are. We're walking north on Agricola. Took a few streets, but well, I like going down that narrow street because it's kind of cool. That was what, that was the main thing I wanted to do. But we covered some other ground too. So. My friend Mike, that I talked to quite a bit, he lives out in Winnipeg, and he was telling me that it was like minus twenty something out there. And sometimes it's even colder. They're getting brutal weather out there. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and sometimes Alberta. They're getting like the worst, the coldest weather. Here in Halifax, I don't think we got minus 20 this year at all. We got it felt like minus 20 with the wind, but I don't think we made it up to minus 20. Maybe, maybe a couple of, Maybe, right in the very worst part of January. Might have had minus 18 and maybe in some places it had 20. But that was, that was not the norm. That was just like one or two days and that was it. Minus 10 is common. We're gonna have a couple of cold days after the snow's over. And then we're gonna have some warm days again. So. We're getting there. We get we get more mild days than we do freezing ones now. So let's see. That building's coming right along pretty good. They've been working on that for a while. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, six stories, because it looks like they're topping it off there now. But six stories high with a little probably maintenance stuff up there. Let's go see what's new across the street here. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, nothing coming. Looking right down at Gretla. Isn't it beautiful and all the snow? <laughs> all right, sidewalk closed over there. Sidewalk closed. Oh, I guess, but maybe. But people must walk it. So I think it's all right. I'm gonna walk it. I'm gonna play dumb and I'll walk it. There's your building that's going right there. Yeah. Oh, the sidewalk is closed up here. Always for the demolition of those buildings. I can walk on the other side. Those, those buildings on that corner 
I think, I think that's the corner. There is a nibble the block of buildings are getting in the valley so they can build something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where they got that little area blocked. Not quite the spot I thought it was. So. Anyways, we are at Fern Lane and May Street. Here's the corner right here with it. I don't know why that one's blocked off. Maybe for trucks couldn't make the turn if people was on the sidewalk. Might be it. So you can see right here, there's one building right here, big long area demolished, but there's more up that way. So you'll see them all up here where the, there's almost a block they brought down. So something big is gonna be going up here. Oh, don't you just love it? I do. I'm not nostalgia about too many old buildings. Like, put up the cement and the glass towers, and I'm happy. No, not everybody shares my, my view, but I didn't live in Halifax that long, so I'm not really attached to anything, any older buildings. So I guess if I lived here all my life, I might think differently, but I'm fairly new here. I'm not really attached to the historical buildings. So it's fine by me if they want to tear them down and the modern buildings. I had a new viewer. Uh, let's see. If I could think of her name, I might have to go back into my phone to get it. But she, I guess she lives up in this area somewhere and she was helping me out if I made a mistake on where something was. She helped me out on a couple of things there. And, and uh, she says she has a favorite restaurant up here, which I don't know. I have my favorite coffee shop up here. And that's Tim Hortons on Yen and Roby. So, so anyway, that was kind of cool. Um, I like those those uh, comment sections on there. So I feel free, anybody watching my videos, if you live in Halifax or if you live out in Vancouver or wherever you are, make a comment. And if I, if I, I'll try my best to answer everybody back. I look back through them and I seem there's some five months ago and seven months ago that I missed at the time. So I, I'm not perfect. I can miss a few here and there, but I try my best to answer my comments that people make to me, okay? So I love looking at them every morning. <coughs> I look down through my comments to see if I get any new comments overnight and I try to answer them back early in the morning, but sometimes it don't work out quite that way, but most of the time it does. So I love getting comments from you guys. So feel free anytime you wanna make a comment. And a lot of times I get helpful information from people who know a little more about something than I do. And then I can pass it on. And they gave me information about that building right there. Somebody did a while back. But it's supposed to be, might be the tallest building in Halifax was done. That's what I, somebody gave me that information. I didn't check it anywhere to see if it's, but I take their, their knowledge because it is appearing like it's the tallest one here. And they told me that it was going to be, I don't know, 30 stories or something like that, maybe a little more. So, that was also told that the, the big tall building down in the, by the university, that's 33 stories, is, is going to get renovated and there's going to be two more floors added to the top. I don't know if that's, like, that's just what somebody told me, okay? 
Well, I can't say it's first-hand knowledge. I heard it. So, it could be. If anyone knows any more about it, please let me know and I'll pass it on. But that's what I was told by one person that it was going to be added two more floors. So this one, this tall one, is going to be in competition with, with that one. For which building is the tallest in Halifax? But I got a feel it won't matter because it won't be the tallest for long, not likely. The way Halifax is growing and building, something else will come along yet taller than that. I can remember when the tallest building in Toronto was 40 floors. The TV, 56, sorry, 50, 50, it was 56 floors, the tallest of the, the three TD, uh, the black buildings there in Toronto, the TD bank buildings before they built the new one, if anybody remembers them back, way back there. There was an observation deck in the top of the tallest one, and it was only 50 some floors, and I thought that was like super tall. That's nothing now. Now that's, they, I think they got them over 70 up there now. So 50 is not real high anymore. It'd be high in Halifax because we don't have anything 50 floors, but you might see the day, possibly. Who knows, right? That's what's going in right here. If you can see that building right there. That's what's going in here. All right, we'll keep, oh, this is plowed, look at this. It's all plowed for me, perfect. Keep an eye behind me, make sure nobody's coming up behind me here. I'm blocking the way, so that's, that's the spot for the new one right there. You see that thing in the middle of the tower? You know what that is? That's for, it can move itself up. It don't need another crane to move it up and put another suction in. It, it opens up, there's a platform there that can hold one section and they pull up the top and it's totally empty. It's just sitting on that thing, but that's heavy duty, it can handle it. And they pull it up, then they slide in a new section, bolt it down and that's how they keep raising it. They don't need a second crane to, to raise it. Amazing, eh? Whoever thought of that one. Oh, this is uh, messy in here. But as far as I know, everything's dry because it's snow and not rain and it'll fall right off of everything. I don't think there's any snow much on my phone. And it, it looks pretty good. Well, I didn't run into my wife anywhere along the way today, but I might see her. I get into Tim Hortons, I'm gonna text her and tell her where I am. And if she happens to come by, great. Or oh, she may have already headed for the yard because they just have a small bunch of stuff to deliver today because the streets are really a mess. And her company, they don't like to send the trucks out when they're storming like this. So, we're going to have a small day today. Well, we walked in familiar territory, but that's all right. You don't have to be every bit of an original every day. I'm okay with this. And if you've seen it too many times, you, you can turn it off. I won't mind. And But if you want to watch it again, then... That's good, but we did take some different routes today, and and it is snowing pretty good. That's always great to have a good snow video. Maybe my next one will be snow melting video. <laughs> Who knows, right? The rain is the hardest this time of year because when it rains, it's usually kind of a cold rain and not a lot of fun to be out in.
Why I get jaywalk across here? Look, where I'm going is right over there. I wouldn't have to walk all the way up to the corner. So we'll see. If I can get a break from the traffic, I'm going to go for it. But we'll see. Maybe up here in this driveway there. It looks pretty calm. There's only a car or two coming. All right, I'm going to stand here and try to go across when there's nothing coming. I think there's two cars. One, one coming the other way, then I can go for it. Okay, I can make it. Nothing coming, see? I'm not jaywalking, I'm jaywalking. According to the law, I don't think there's a difference, but we'll go with that. We'll run with that. How will that be? Okay. Oh. Am I a funny guy or not? I don't know. My wife tells me I'm not all that funny, but I try. Well, we're almost to Tim Hortons again, and this is where I'm going to leave you folks for another day. So, here we are on Valentine's Day, February the 14th, in a big snowstorm on Valentine's Day, no less. Just looking around the scenery here, let's see where we can point this camera to sight off. There. If you like this video, you can push that like button. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I'd just love it if you become a subscriber. That would be wonderful. And with that, you have a great day. We'll see you all later. Bye.